Hey you guys, it is Makeup by Mara, and as always, thank you guys so much for stopping by to kick it with your girl and see what I got going on today. I am actually very excited about this video because I have just seen countless videos on this stuff and I was trying to get my hands on this foundation forever, but I finally found it. So today I am going to be doing my own review and demo on this new L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Oh, we have already heard so many things from so many people already, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and go through the specifics here. Full weightless full coverage. It is supposed to be a natural finish, wears up to 24 hours. Coverage is high and the texture is air light. It says this is supposed to give you really seamless coverage, so we're not even gonna hesitate. We're gonna get right into this thing and see exactly what it does. First, me personally, I am not going to um, use a primer or anything simply because I want to see how the foundation does by itself before I decide what I may wanna use with it, if, if I even like it. So the shade I got is 310, which is classic tan. And right off the bat, it, it looks fairly neutral as far as the undertone is concerned. But at the same time, I feel like I can kind of see some pink going on in there just a little bit. So I don't really know how to feel about this. Um, as far as the texture, seems kind of like the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse only in like a more liquid form that can come out of a tube if that makes any sense it seems very whipped um just different you know it's not running it's thick seems kind of creamy um but nonetheless let's go ahead and do this thing okay so i'm gonna use a beauty blender because that's what i would use anyway so let's go so Definitely not sure about this color. Not even sure about the way that this feels going on. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know, I, okay. I'm just gonna, you know, continue to do my whole face and stuff and just kind of see where it takes me. But as of now, I find it quite awkward. <laughs> probably because it's more different than what I'm used to but um, I will say this it's definitely a higher coverage I can get with that whenever I want that and when I'm first applying it I'm just not sure about this color however once I get it blended into my skin it definitely looks a lot better um, hmm Hmm. <laughs> That's all I can say, you guys. At least it doesn't have a weird smell because the Pro Glow smells like paint to me. Okay, so this right now is kind of growing on me. Um, not really sure if it's total coverage or if my Beauty Blender might be taking away from the cover covering power. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little more just because. It says total cover that means I want shit to be covered up the first time so well down here on my chin I got a little dark mark right now it did a pretty good job of covering stuff up but I still see some of my scars from you know previous breakouts and stuff so I'm just going over that again to see if it does anything oh yeah can you guys tell I like finally gave in and just did my eyebrows like I loved them when they were natural because I was being lazy, but then one day I was just like, you know what? My brows could seriously be on fleek. I'm bullshitting. And so I went ahead and did them. And I did them with Nair. Ain't that crazy? Or a cream hair remover. I'm probably going to do a video about that because it was actually kind of convenient. Okay. Oh, that's weird there. But I'm definitely feeling better about it once it kind of gets settled in if that makes any sense but I still just I'm not sure if a beauty blender is the way to go with this foundation because the areas that I want to cover more are seeming to be lifting the more that I use the beauty blender on them even though I'm adding more product it's like 
here I am. I'm going to go ahead and add more product right there for the last time. And I'm just going to leave it alone. And I'm not sure if I like that because I don't want it to look like cakey. You know what I mean? Okay, so for the most part, face is done. I'll go ahead and work that into my neck like I always do because... <laughs> Y'all hear that? <laughs> um just because I have some scarring on my neck as well from breakouts and I want those to be covered up. And if this is the real deal, like it says it's supposed to be, I won't have to work too hard with it on those areas, but you guys see me just working this in. I honestly don't know what to think. I'll probably need to just see like the rest of my face with this and kind of go from there. But right now I'm not totally in love but I don't hate it, if that makes any sense. You know how you get excited when you first try something like that Pro Glow? I loved it from the minute I tried it on. So I'm just not getting the same same excitement from this one um, at all, if that makes any sense. So hmm. you guys be the judge and let me know. But that's pretty much blended in. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and um, just like I did with the Pro Glow video, which I will link down below, I will link that one down below so you guys can check out that video, but um, I'm going to just kind of update you throughout the day so that you guys can know about the wear, if it lasts long, my thoughts on it as the day goes on, and then we will do an end cap later tonight to just give you guys how it wore for the day, so stay tuned for that, so I will be right back. All right, guys, so I have finished applying the rest of my makeup, and honestly, I don't think the camera will really pick up on a few of the issues that I had with it. I'm not going to say that I don't like the foundation because I definitely, I do. It still has like a hint of a pink undertone, and I'm just like, hmm. We all know how everybody who is really into makeup is like, I am not trying to be the butt of somebody's jokes or the butt of somebody clowning or something like, oh, mm -mm, girl, that is not your color. I got to This is the rest of my face after I've applied concealer, setting powder. I used Airspun. I also used my MAC Studio Fix powder to set my whole face in NC45 and then some um, dark, deep, mineralized skin finish just to kind of bronze my face a little bit and then, of course, some blush. So... I, I, I don't know, but I'll be back to check in and let you guys know how it's going. Alright, so me and the boy, we're headed to check our mailbox. It's probably like, hmm, maybe it's about one something in the afternoon. Nonetheless, we're checking the mail. I'm just checking in with you guys like I said I would. So it's still looking okay, I guess, but I just still don't know. I still don't know about it. Hey guys, so I am back. It is 6.15 in the evening right now. I feel like I see some texture that I never really see at all. I really hope you guys can like see this stuff on my skin and everything. But for the most part, I feel like as the day went on, it got better. That light is distracting, isn't it? Um... I feel like it got better, of course, because eventually these things need to oxidize and really, really settle. And so, of course, my combo oily skin kind of helped it do that. Yeah, sorry the lighting's all crazy, but this is what it looks like. I feel like it could be better. What I might do, I might do like a follow-up on it, maybe figure out a better way to apply it maybe with some other kind of brush or something but I just know that beauty blender was not doing it for me it's just not I don't know I just I'm not excited as I was when I did the pro glow you guys all right guys well it is just about 10 p.m. and that is just under about 12 hours of wear with this L'Oreal infallible total cover foundation so I am going to give you guys my final thoughts on it. Here's what it looks like. I have not reapplied anything at all. Um, I haven't touched up anything. I wouldn't recommend this for drier skin. I have combination oily skin, but 
using this, I guess I found out that I have a few dry patches like kind of around here and it looks a hot ass mess. I would think it would really, really, really accentuate dry skin um, and make it look even drier if that makes any sense. It says it's a natural finish but it comes off very very matte to me which is great if you have oily skin. So if you have oily skin you really might like this. This might do very well for you because that was the biggest thing when you initially put it on it just seems so weird because it is a formula that I know I'm not used to, I'm not used to this like whipped mousse like type of cream. I wouldn't try it with a beauty sponge. I think that that would take away from the actual coverage that it is supposed to give. I wouldn't even call it full coverage. However, I am going to probably do another video, maybe using another method, maybe some kind of brush to where I'm stippling it in. You know what I mean? That way I can just figure out what is the best way to work with this because I want to wear it. I want to like it. I want to like it just as much as my Infallible Pro Matte and my Infallible Pro Glow because you guys already know those are on and popping. I was super excited about this but I was actually just kind of like not disappointed but I think I was expecting more from this because when I think of full coverage I'm thinking of like MAC Studio Fix Fluid, I'm thinking Estee Lauder Double Wear, like I'm thinking of stuff that's going to go in and cover some shit up like on the first time I put it on. So this one... I find you have to layer it um, if you really want that full coverage but again it depends on what tools you're using it is lightweight like it says it is air light so even though you guys saw me sitting there just putting on putting on putting on to try and cover up some of the dark marks when in reality you can still kind of see a few things through it the color was something that I believe everything else that I used in conjunction with it helped it out because it did seem very neutral but at the same time with a hint of pink in there and I am golden so that was something that uh, my blending definitely had to be on point and then of course I had to go in and warm my face up and use concealer you know what I mean I just had to do the whole works to make it blend and I can feel comfortable wearing it out and stuff this is something that I think is cool. I think it's different. It's always exciting when something new comes out anyway because the Pro Matte and the Pro Glow were just so freaking good and they still are good. I think everybody's expectation for this was just like out of the roof. I'm not saying it's bad because I honestly, I do like it and I will wear it again. I'm going to say that. I'm not going to sit here and say this is sucks. I'm going to toss it. Like, no, I'm going to wear it. This is going to be one of those challenges that we sometimes come across. You know when there's something that you want to love, you just got to keep working at it and keep playing with it to see how you're going to make it work best for you. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I will do a follow-up video again with some other form of application tool. That way I can just see which way it goes on better for me. And maybe it'll help you guys out. We're going to give this... I'll give it a thumbs up so I'm not even too mad at them I will give it a thumbs up it's just it's just different and I think it's different for a lot of people so that's one of those things where hey we gotta humble ourselves a little bit when something like this comes out and you guys know how I am I know it is probably not right it's probably not right at all but if you can sneak a little sample at the store you guys I'm being so serious sneak a little sample at the store you don't need much just a tiny little bit and see what it looks like you know don't be naive and just be like oh I'm gonna get this no get you a little sample see if it blends in see if that's something you think you can work with and then go from there because um, I think these are like 13 bucks or something so <sighs> For whatever reason, drugstore foundations are becoming a little bit more expensive, but nonetheless, they're still cheaper than some of the big, big, big name brands and things that we find in Sephora and stuff like that. So it's still somewhat affordable for some people. So I would just recommend trying it. That first initial application is just like, what the hell is this stuff? You know what I mean? So it's like, once... You give it a few minutes, I say maybe 20 minutes after you put it on, you will start to feel better about it. And that's why you guys saw me throughout the video. I'm like, okay, it's growing on me a little bit. And nonetheless, here I am almost 12 hours later. I can honestly say that I do like it and I will wear it and use it. My concealer was acting a little funky with it too. I used the LA Girl 
that just was not sitting right with this for some reason I don't know why so I'm gonna have to try another concealer with it as well but that's my experience again you guys need to try it and see how it can work for you it's at least worth a try so there you go thanks you guys that was my review first impression demo just whatever the hell everything about this in my opinion that's what you guys just saw I appreciate you for coming by to see it and as always, you guys know I'll see you in my next video.